Hey guys, it's Crazy Comic Lady here and I'm back with my month in review video for the month of April. So my first finish this month is the beautiful Snow Tiger. This was by Dakota Detweiler and it was 60 by 50 centimetres, more or less. <laughs> um, yeah, so I originally had planned to enter this into the decathlon event that was happening. Unfortunately, I there was stuff going on and I didn't end up participating but it's absolutely stunning and it worked out very, very quickly. I actually got this one completed in four and a half days. Um, it's so pretty. There was so much color blocking in the greens that it, it went really, really fast. So um, another reason I was working really fast on it was uh, the size of my stash is starting to get a bit overwhelming. So I kind of really kind of plowed through them this month to try and make a dent in my stash. But yeah, so this, this was a beautiful finish. This was my, seventh diamond art club finish it was my 31st finish of all time and my 20th finish for um this year so uh the only thing there was a few spots uh of glue which wasn't very sticky um and the cover minder it came with it came with this very cute little bunny cover minder i think it was this one um unfortunately the cover minder the magnet wasn't actually atta attached on the back but it wasn't a problem i glued it back on so that was my first finish for April. Um, I actually started this on the 31st of March and it felt appropriate because it snowed in March. So, um, so yeah, that was my first finish of April. Uh, the next two finishes I have to show you were actually from um, an order that originally had gotten lost and I was having trouble um, getting either replacements or refunds. So I just bit the bullet and I repurchased the kits myself and I'm so glad I did. So my second finish for this, for April, was this absolutely stunning piece by the artist Puffy Gator. Um, so this one was, I think it was a 40 by 50. I can't, I've taped over the, <laughs> taped over the, the legendy thing so I can't actually work out what size it was but I love this kit. This kit is it's probably my most favourite finish of all time. If I put it sideways, you can get it all on frame. But I loved it so much. It's a square kit. It worked out quite quickly. I think, again, I did it in four and a half days. And yeah, I love it so much. I've actually bought a frame for it. So um, I might pop in a quick video at the end so you can see what it looks like in the frame. But it was, yeah, I loved it. I just loved, I loved the colours. I liked how it turned out. I loved the sparkle. All this part back here is actually all ABs. So it's got that extra, extra small sparkle to it. So I absolutely love the background on this and just all of it. And the pinks, pink's my favorite color. Um, I did find that my hands were struggling a bit with squares because you do have to put a bit of um, pressure on <laughs> to get the squares in. And I actually broke my Diamond Art Club multi placer. It just snapped completely in half. So um, yeah, the drill field is very, very tight on these new square kits, but I just love it. I love this finish so much. I don't think I had any problems with this kit at all. Um, it was my eighth Diamond Art Club finish, my 32nd finish of all time. And it's one of the, I would, I'm actually very tempted to repurchase this kit again um, and do it a second time because I just, I enjoyed it so much. I just absolutely, I loved it. I loved it. It's so pretty and sparkly. Fantastic. Loved it so much. My next kit was also, it was part of that order that went missing that I repurchased. And it was actually a partial kit. Bring it over here. With this little tiny Yorkshire Terrier. So this is a very tiny, it's 33 by 33 centimetres uh, by the artist uh, Marilyn Kazanoff. Uh, and it's a partial drill. And what annoyed me the second I unwrapped it was the creases. Now I'm not sure if they'll show up, but there's actually creases in the canvas. Um, let's see how well they show up on camera, but there's quite a big crease across here. Um, there's these creases all around here it's a much more visible in person i tried uh, before i started working on it i did try and iron out the creases and that didn't seem to make any difference whatsoever but um yeah you can see the crease there but that this really really put me off um partial drill kits because if you've got creases in the background and it's a partial drill you're kind of 
it I find it draws your eyes to all the creases and the defects in the actual canvas so that I found was actually a bit disappointing and the canvas actually it seemed to work up really slowly even though it's tiny I think I did it in a day and a half so it wasn't <laughs> it just felt like it took a long time and I maybe I wasn't enjoying it because I'd just done a square kit before it so possibly that um but yeah so apart from the creases it's okay this was my ninth diamond art club finish my 33rd finish of all time and my 22nd finish for this year so before i even tried to iron it out i did actually leave it um flat underneath my stash of diamond art club boxes which is very very heavy and that didn't help get them out out these creases either but never mind um partial drills aren't for everyone and i kind of suspected i wouldn't be a fan of partial drills i think i probably would have liked it more if it hadn't had the creases in it but anyway that was my third finish for the month and my fourth finish dun, dun, dun. this felt very appropriate <laughs> considering um Considering the size of my stash is starting to get even me a bit overwhelmed. So it says, I am not a craft hoarder. I'm the curator of an extensive sparkly diamond art kit collection. <laughs> um, are you noticing a colour theme here? These last three kits all been very pink because pink is my favourite colour. And it felt kind of, it's April. It's spring-like. The flowers are blooming. Um, so I did love the special drills in this kit. So um, these, I'm not sure how well they'll show up, but this... We've got special, like, crystally. I'm not sure if they're referred to as iridescent. But there's these, like, they're like little crystal white ones. There was the electro diamonds in the gold up here. So they have a super gold sheen to them. Um, so that was quite fun, getting to work on something different. Especially these, I think they're iridescent -y ones. Um, those I really love. So this was working out really well until I got down here. The O and the N... There was no stick. There was no stick on just these letter bits. It was really strange. I'm not sure if it was my drills, but I mean the drills, I tested them out and I tried a pink one up here and the pink one stuck fine. It was literally just on these bits. And there was so much static that they were also, the drills were just sticking to each other. So that was a nightmare. So I even tried, I'd seen a trick mentioned on the Facebook group. If you find an area that doesn't have, um, seem to be very sticky that you can try using uh, nail polish <laughs> so I attempted it um, and I put I just dabbed on some nail polish on the bits where there was no glue that didn't really work it just made it really kind of slidey um, I think now that it's set it might be yeah these aren't wanting to move I'm sticking my finger in the creases and then they're, they're pretty solid and because it's such a tight drill field because this is yet again another square kit um, I thought that it would sandwich them together and hopefully they won't pop off even though there's no glue around here but um it was just so strange like the rest of the kit was fine it was literally just this section <laughs> it was very weird so anyway it seemed very appropriate since my stash is getting so big um yeah so this was my 10th diamond art club finish my 34th finish of all time and my 22nd finish for this year. And I'm not sure why, but for some reason I got very, very bored <laughs> of working on this kit. I think I typically prefer animals where you can see the animals coming to life. So yeah, but I really felt it was appropriate. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of people who enjoy diamond painting can relate to this, <laughs> to this kit completely. Um, right, so my next finish for April this beautiful piece by Jojo's Art. It's called Beautiful Coloured Death. And I did this one in memory of our doggo Bono who passed away a year ago in April last year. So just down it sideways so you can see it. But I thought this was the only one I've got in my stash that could sort of remotely be appropriate to mark the occasion. Um, but it was very, very cute, but it was very, very sad um, subject matter, but no problems. It's very sparkly, it's very pretty. So this was my 11th Diamond Art Club finish, my 35th finish of all time, and my 23rd finish for this year. And my very final kit that I managed to get done in April was Sibling Rivalry by Krista Forrest. So 
So this piece came from the one with the diamond art. It's my very first time working on a canvas from them. And boy, it was confetti heavy. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever actually had to pack up a kit and put it to the side for a bit because I just got so burnt out on all the confetti. But it, it worked out pretty well. There was a bit of colour blocking down here at the bottom, um, which sped things up right at the very end. Uh, but I didn't have any problems with the glue. It was nice and sticky. Um, I did find that the drills were possibly slightly dirty. Um, I seem to be having to change my wax a lot in my pen, like every 50 drills or something I was having to put new wax in. Um, but it does have a very beautiful finished result. So yes, quite happy with the way that one turned out. So this was my very first finish from the one with the diamond art. And it was my 36th finish of all time and my 24th finish of this year. So that is my month in review for April. Um, I don't think I'll be getting through as many kits for next month at all. Because <laughs> I think I got a bit burnt out kind of ploughing through them at the speed I did. But anyway, um, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And finally, I did get a frame from my beautiful festive time by Puffy Gator. So... I think it looks very beautiful and sparkly in the frame. Um, I did keep the, the washi tape border and I actually made this sort of mount myself. I just cut up a bit of paper that had come in one of my portfolio albums just to make a border around it. So I did it on the cheap. This frame only cost about 10, 12 pounds from eBay. Um, so there you go. Framed. I now kind of want to frame all of Puffy Gator's artwork. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.